Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a unboxing for you. This is going to be a very organic unboxing. I've never done an unboxing like this before and I wanted to do it this way by actually showing you my first reaction to this new bag and kind of going through my surprise of what it looks like because I've never purchased anything from this brand. You can probably tell by the thumbnail that I am talking about an off-white bag and I'm so excited. I have been eyeing this bag for I can't even tell you how long and I finally got it so I'm so excited to show it to you. Before I get into the video I do just want to introduce myself in case you are new here. My name is Alyssa, welcome. This is the Gals Guide and I come on here and I talk about handbags. If you like handbags or luxury goods, you are definitely in the right place. Please feel free to subscribe down below, hit that little red button anywhere. I'd love to have you join this little community here with me. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I love chatting with you in the comments down below. That being said, let's get into the video. So I have this giant box right here that I just got in the mail today and I cannot wait to open it and show you what I got. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my God, you guys. <sighs> so, I got two things. So what happened was, Saks Fifth Avenue sent me a coupon code in the mail, like physically to my house, and said, this is a specialized code for you for that next handbag. And it was kind of like one of those coupon codes where it's like, spend this much, get this much off, which was so cool. And so I ended up getting two bags. So I got one off-white bag and I got another long chomp. So I actually will just show you the long chomp came in this and I'm gonna open it up. The reason I did it this way was because I wanted to get $300 off rather than the 150 and I just had to spend a little bit more. So basically I got the long chomp for free and it unfolds just like this and You've got the classic black with the cognac, which I love. I have um, the same bag in blue, but I just didn't want blue anymore. I don't really use it, but this is a really great travel bag. And what's nice, as you can tell, it does fold back up into a little square. So if you wanted to pack it in a suitcase or something, that's really nice. This is the large size, and these are really affordable. This is like $145, but again, I basically got it for free because I had that coupon code. Long trunk back here. And it has the little emblem up there. So this was a really nice pickup. This is not the star of the show, but I just wanted to show you that I got this. And I will just say, this box was packaged so nicely. Everything in here is just so organized. But I am drooling over this off-white box. Like, are you kidding? This is the box. This mint green color is so pretty. It's one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm gonna open it up. <gasps> All right, so this is what it looks like in here. And this, here it is in the dust bag. I'm so excited to open this. Okay, so this is a really nice dust bag, too. Love this color. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with the drip? Like, come on. So, this is my first off-white bag. This is the off-white Jitney, size 1.4. Oh, like just looking at it, I, I was not expecting what this material would be or anything. So let me just go through that for a second. It's very, like, structured feeling. It's very, like almost plastic-like. I, I don't even know how to describe it, where it's just like a very solid, structured feeling. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's very lightweight. But like the gold, like this is my favorite thing. 
Okay, so I believe you just twist to open this. Oh. Oh wait, I guess you don't have to twist, do you? No, it's just magnetic. So if it was like this, it would just it would just open. So you don't have to twist it, but you can twist and like look how cool that looks too. But so you just pop it open, magnetic closure. This color is called beige, but it's very creamy, creamy white kind of color. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous about color transfer on this, but it, it's like, it's very shiny. It's, it's very, very glossy to me. Like, I'm a little bit worried. But anyways, let's just open this up. Okay, so it's stuffed beautifully. Comes with the crossbody strap, which I'm super excited to see how this fits me. And, oh, we've got the, okay, so the off-white tag. And then I'm just going to take out the stuffing. So the interior is this red color. It has a back pocket back there. And then it also has this inner pocket, which you could probably fit like a card holder in there. And then it's just got that one space. So, again, it's very structured, very stiff kind of feeling. It feels very... Like, it's definitely not going to lose its shape. It doesn't feel like that at all. I mean, it's overall just so beautiful. But I don't even know what to call this leather. Like, I don't know what it is exactly. But it is structured. I mean, the top handle almost looks a little bit crooked to me. But, like, that might change over time. But it's very strong. Like, it's very sturdy. Like, I don't think... I don't want to like squeeze it, but I, I don't know how malleable this material is. And you'll see up close, like there's no pebbling at all. It's completely smooth all the way through. And it has this back pocket. This back pocket is actually pretty tough to get into. Like I don't think my phone would fit back here. I mean, let's try just for fun. I don't know. So like, that's what it looks like. I don't... I don't know if that's something I'd like. I feel like it may actually stretch out the back pocket and I don't think I would want that. But if you wanted like quick cash or something, you could put it in there. But overall, this is just so beautiful and it's so light, oh my God. So I'm gonna try the crossbody strap on it and let's see what happens. So it is wrapped pretty nicely here. Okay, so the crossbody strap is adjustable, which is nice. And it has the, ooh, that's pretty. It has um, like a gold feature on here. Looks really nice. This looks really expensive, honestly. The quality of the bag so far is different than I was expecting. However, I don't really know how I feel. So, I don't even know how this crossbody strap goes on. <laughs> so it's going to go on through here. So I'm just going to slide that through really quick. So I really like how the strap goes on. It slides right through super simply. And then it's just like a really nice crossbody strap. So it is definitely adjustable. You have a bunch of different lengths here. I am pretty short, so I always make sure that the crossbody straps that I... Any crossbody bag, I really like it to be adjustable because I do like it to be a little bit higher up on my hip. So this is a really nice strap. I think I like the way that it doesn't actually clip on. I kind of like the way that it goes through the bag. And then the straps will eventually just kind of lay very nicely to the side like this, which I think is really cute. I would say, so far, my first impression is that this material may get filthy, and it does look like the material or like the paint of this leather could potentially crack. And I don't know how I feel about that. However, I love the structure of it. It does feel like it's, it's, it's durable. Like it feels like I could throw it around and it would be fine. And so just a little background on Off-White. LVMH actually owns Off-White, which... If you don't know, LVMH also owns like Louis Vuitton, things like that. And so that's kind of what piqued my interest into Off-White. And I've seen some of these bags on YouTube a few times, but I had never seen this one until I saw it on Farfetch. And 
I had thought about buying it and then I just never did and I thought well I'll have to wait and see if I need something in my collection. I definitely didn't need this bag however I had that coupon code and it was just almost like a no-brainer to get this. So I ended up getting $300 off of my purchase so I ended up getting essentially $155 off of this bag and then I got the long chomp for free. So it worked out pretty well. This bag retails for $14.35, I believe, on Saks' website right now, and it is also on Farfetch for the same price. And so I will leave it in the description box down below. I will link it. However, I am going to do a full review on this bag coming soon once I wear it, kind of see if there's any color transfer, any paint chipping. I'm very interested to see how this holds up. I really thought it was going to be a little bit more beige. It's definitely like a creamy beige like I, I would say it's more cream than beige which I'm not mad at I really love a good cream bag and I think that the color is warm enough to wear it in multiple seasons which will be really nice I mean, it even looks good with the gray that I have on today so I'm excited to style this I'm definitely going to do a full review and get some mod shots and things for you coming soon if you own any off-white bags or if you have the Jitney bag or anything and you have any, any recommendations or advice on caring for this bag, definitely leave that in the comment section down below. That is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.